Good afternoon, everyone. All right. So today we are going to talk about the difference between population and samples. Okay. So does anybody know what a raise your hand if you know what a population is? Like how many people are? Group of people. Angel. Okay, in a city. Yes. How many people are in the state? Okay. Now, does anybody know what a sample is? Yes? A little piece of something. Yes? DNA from someone? You were saying something, Alana. What were you saying? It's perfect. It's a perfect example. A sample from Costco, right? So, at Costco, you go and you get a little bit of something that comes in a bigger packet, right? So, exactly what this is. A sample is a little bit of the population, okay? So they're not giving you the whole box of chips, right? They'll give you one chip at Costco, right? A sample. So you kind of want to think about that when we're discussing this, sample and population. Sample would be the whole thing, and then sample is just a little taste. For example, I think I've discussed this before where, let's say I want to buy everyone lunch in the classroom, but I never did this example. But I don't have time to ask every single person in this class what they would like. So what I do, I don't ask the population. The population would be everyone in this classroom. I choose a sample, like I'm going to choose Team 5, and I'm going to say, hey, Team 5, I'm going to ask you, do you want McDonald's or In-N-Out? So, David, what would you like? <laughs> McDonald's or In-N-Out? Okay, yes. So, based on, so Carolina, exactly, based on my sample, they all said in and out, so I'm buying everyone in and out. But some people in my population, like Carolina, I'm like, oh, I didn't want in and out. Well, I'm sorry, but because I chose this sample, I'm going with in and out. Does that make sense, the difference between sample and population? Are we okay? Now, that's the first part of the lesson. The second part of the lesson is this. Let's say, I'm not writing anything down, guys. So you have to really listen to me. Don't get distracted. Your eyes should be basically over here. Okay. So we talked about the difference between population and sample. Now, here's something else you have to learn. I want to buy you guys a lunch. So I go across the hall and I go ask Ms. Van Dyke's students, Hey guys, what should I buy my uh, my seventh graders next door for lunch? Should I buy the Del Taco or Taco Bell? And then, for example, is that the correct group to ask? No. No. I have to ask the people who are involved, right? What What do they have to do with us right now? Nothing, right? So. When I ask a population or a sample, I have to ask the right people, right? Um, is it okay for me just to ask all the girls? No. Right? Is it okay just to ask all the people who have A's in the class? No. no. You want to choose, if you're choosing a sample, you want to choose a sample that's fair, that represents about everyone in the class. I chose five. It was 50% girls, 50% boys. So that's good. I chose them at random. I could have chosen any other group, but I just decided to choose five. Is it okay for me to choose Van Dyke's class? No. no. No, that doesn't represent us. Okay, so sample is small amount. Population is everyone. And you have to make sure that you're asking the right people. Has anybody heard of the word biased? Yes. Yes. What does that mean? They have your own opinion. You have your own opinion? I where I talked about it yeah, before. It about the basketball that. team or something like that? No, no. What did I do? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I semi started it. Okay. Let's do number one. Okay, uh, Gabriela, can you read this part while Team 7 is listening attentively?
So let's box in sample. Okay? Is that everybody or a small part? Small. small. So now we're going to read the choices. And we're looking for a small group of people, not everybody. The people who voted for the mayor, the residents of the town, 263 voters ages 21 to 30, the residents of five different neighborhoods. Okay. Why A is wrong. This is a biased group because if you voted for him, you're more likely to say, he's doing a good job. Well, I mean, let's, let's focus on this, okay? What's wrong with C? No. Yes. Of certain age. Now, do you think if I ask the young people, they're going to have the same opinion if I ask someone over 50? No. Are they have the same opinion? No, they're not, right? So if I choose just these people, these people, they might have a different opinion. So we're not going to choose them. So it's between B and D. B. Now it is a sample. Oh, B. 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 The residents of his town would be a population. The residents of five different neighborhoods, well, technically, we don't know how many neighborhoods. It could be ten. So, D is a sample. Okay? And it's a random sample. It's not like only girls, only boys, only ages here and there. Okay. Number two. Before a nationwide election, a polling place was trying to see who would win. Which choice best represents a sample. So read it. You're reading? What do you guys think? It's not A or B. It's not A or B because it would be males. Here it's over age 50, right? All voters is population, so therefore, D. So you can do process of elimination, but you have to start doing these on your own. Don't just wait for me. Three, a store owner tracking how much kids spend each month on toys. Which choice best represents a sample? So, correct answer is A. A. Right. Yep, boys and girls were good, and they're in the store, so it's good. Okay, number four. Good, now focus on number four. A beverage company wanted to see if people in the United States like their new logo. Which choice represents a population? Yeah, every person in the United States. Why would you ask the employees of the company? Right. No. Plus it's a population, so it's everybody. Not a sample. Everybody that you're talking about. So since I'm talking about people in the United States, I'm going to choose everyone in the United States. If they said, oh, everyone in, you know, Canada, you're like, but we're, we're talking about the people in the United States. Okay? Choose the right population. All right, the next one. Number five. Let me give, me, give everyone a chance to read number five. Good. And number six? B. 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 It is population. So it is D as in dog. Population. Not 3,000 of them, but everybody. All right, do the back. Yeah, because I don't want to ask 
anyone who didn't buy the album. Well, yes, 10 years ago when this worksheet was created, there wasn't a lot of streaming like there is now. Okay, the back looks very similar, but the difference is sometimes they'll ask you for population, and in the back they ask you for sample, so you just have to read it carefully. It's the same, like, setup, but just figure out, are they asking sample or population? Yes, but not the same answers. They're slightly the same, but just like a bit of different words. So, which choice best represents a sample, not population? B. B. Last time it was population. This time it's sample, so the answers are different. Come on your own.